Hello, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I've been, I've been uh, experimenting with a little bit of uh, uh, sourcing, different sourcing. And I got, I went to, I uh, found a, I mean everybody, I mean not everybody, but there, there's a lot of people already doing Ross finds and that. And I didn't, I thought that the real, that the stores were mostly towards uh, bigger cities, but there is, well, and there's a bigger metro area like 40 miles from me. So that's that's where I had to go. So I thought well, I'd, I'd check to see if there was one in the area, and there is, in my, uh, in uh, what they call the Metro Cloud Cities. Uh, so I went down there and uh, to uh, 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 Ross, Ross's and dress for us, and I bought a, a couple of things here, you know, like four or five different things I thought I'd do to, uh, a, a, a mini uh, Ross finds. I am by no means. Uh, this is like my second purchase. You know, uh, first video of it. Uh, so I have no idea on. I mean, I I I know I brought brand name items. You know, and so but uh, so we're just uh, you know go through and you can give me your opinions on what you think. Uh, about the items in the video in the comment section down below, and I'm a mark them. I'm a I'm a sell them and I'm mark them, uh, you know, reasonably and that. So, uh, first item. Uh, now the, this first item is a. Now these are all new with tags, obviously. So, uh, getting from 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 us uh, is the first thing is a uh, Reebok uh, new with tags there, and it's a. Yeah, hoodie uh, with the with the mesh uh, put. Now, I actually, I bought uh, more of these. I bought the. Uh, they actually had. I went down there and they actually had. Um, I got three of them, and uh, all with the uh, uh, at, at the discount. And I thought, well, you know, buying three of them, you know, you know, it's better. You know, you can only make make one listing for eBay and that. And uh, this particular one is. Uh, an extra large. That's so a good size. I I got a um, I think I got an extra large, a large, and a medium. Um, and uh, the tag on it, original price on it was fifty five dollars. I don't know if you can see that right right up, right up there, but it says fifty five dollars. Uh, and we'll I'll just see what I can get for them and that you know. Uh, I'm a, and I usually I have a mixture of uh, charge shipping and free shipping. I kind of like mix it up, you know, see what it works. But for this, I I can create one listing and a multiple quantity listing and be done instead of having to, do, you know, more than that. So so that's good. I mean, it's a, you know name brand and it's a and it's a hoodie. Uh, it's, uh, it's November uh, 2017 right now. So, uh, you know, winter apparel is going to be, you know, selling them then. So I got me some of those. And I got a, 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 a box here off the side that I'm getting them from. And But I also got some, you know, just some some other random stuff that I thought would uh, sell. Um, this here, let's see. I have to open them up. I had them all folded. Uh, this is a, a Puma. Uh the men's uh, oh that yeah, the the Reebok was this is all men's apparel. Uh, uh, it's a Puma, just your basic Puma black, you know, uh, shirt. Uh, obviously new with tags, and retails for MSRP is twenty five dollars. Uh, I'll throw it up for uh, like fifteen dollars or something like that uh, with shipping in them, and it should it should should sell pretty good. I mean, and this one is. Also, uh, uh, size extra large. So you know, you, you know, I I don't I when I first started uh, buying uh, uh, thrift store stuff, I would just buy everything and anything. And now I, I stay away from uh, I, obviously the, the most definitely the smalls. But nobody buys a small uh, thing anymore. I mean, I I have sold a couple, but I've sold you know I've had a lot more. Than I've actually sold, and I because I, I thought when I was first buying stuff and I 
I thought, well, I needed to fold in when I was buying uh, like uh, shirts from uh, a wholesale, and I thought, well, I needed a whole range of sizes, you know, from small to extra large or two x large, you know. So I would, you know, buy smalls. And it turns out, you know, uh, when you get into it, you know, not that very many people buy small or many guys, that is. Uh, so um, I don't uh, buy smalls anymore. Uh, here's another uh, Ross Fine, and uh, this is another men's. Uh, it's an Air Jordan T-shirt. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Looney Tunes Nike apparel, right there, right there, yeah. and it's got the the Air Jordan symbol on the on the on the the back right there, and the tag here is um. Thirty-five dollars. I'm uh, I'm only I'm gonna put this up for like twenty dollars plus shipping and that. Uh, and this in you know doesn't also has a uh, the Nike uh logo on it and on the bottom it has uh I think the twentieth anniversary uh tag right here. So and this one is also this one's a large. So it's got the you know, and, and it's got a uh, a tagless label, um, you know which you know, which is good. And I mean I think that's a lot of places a lot of have tags, but there's also tags and tagless labels. Uh, I bought a I um, don't remember what I bought this for, but like I said, I'm a, it it used to retail for uh, thirty five. Like I said, I put it up for like twenty or nineteen ninety five. You know, just like just under. And plus shipping, and I usually charge uh, a flat rate of uh, four dollars for shipping, uh, which is you know uh, very reasonable. And I put them in a. I use uh, uh, I haven't gotten into using poly bags. Uh, I might experiment with that, but I mostly use um, the padded uh, yellow uh, envelopes. I buy from uh, I get from a uh, Uline. Uh, I give them in a, in a box of a hundred, you know, so they're, I don't go, I don't go out to Walmart or, or, or anything like that to get them because they're because it you they're only selling them in like you know packs of two or three or something like that for you know like a couple of dollars. You know, it's like well you know buy buy a hundred of them, you know, for I, I think it's like twenty dollars or some, something like that. I mean, it only, it only cost me like a, a quarter a piece or something like that, and. I, I live right in uh, the middle of the country, and there's a, uh, a, a warehouse, and and right, in, you know, like one state over. So I get one day shipping. So, uh, so I can I can wait until I'm down to my last, you know, four or five before I have to you know, order anymore. And I, I'll get I can order them on uh, uh, Sunday night, and they're here Tuesday afternoon. So. I uh, you know I can cut it pretty close you know but however though I did order ahead of time uh, for this holiday season though because I knew that shipping times even you know I I want to have them you know on hand uh, ahead of time so I want to stock up uh, this here uh, this is a what we got here oh this is another Nike one uh, I was new with that it's a uh, football uh, practice jersey, and like that, and and, and you know, uh, basically, you know, the, you know, it, it's got the the big uh, uh, shoulders and that, uh, you know, for put this over top of your uh, equipment, and hence the you know, practice jersey type. Uh, it's new with tags. Uh, originally it was uh. Oops. All right, all right. Yep. There we go. Twenty. And I'm not very good at uh, getting that the tag to focus. This is twenty-five dollars. So I'll, I'll put this up. Uh, probably actually I'll be closer to the price on this one. Uh, twenty dollars. I'm thinking. Uh, this was a uh, awesome an extra large. You get the, and this one, you know, it's got the the Nike tag on it. Uh. Uh, and uh, it's got the Nike swoop on the, on the front, 
And it's got uh, and it's got this here on the bottom of it. Let me get it to the camera. Uh, there we go. And it says, engineered to the exact specifications of champion athletes, extra large. Uh, like I said, I'll put this up uh, for $20 uh, uh, plus shipping. You know, and it's definitely is a football season, so, uh, and it's an extra large, so it should sell. And, you know, uh, you know, if it end up on sitting on it, you know, I can, you know, it's still uh, new with tag I mean, We also have spring football season two, so, uh, you know, if it doesn't sell this, uh, this fourth quarter and that, you know, I can sell it in the spring. And it's got the, you know, what I realize it's also got the, the, the mesh, uh, uh, I don't know if we pick it up on the, on the, uh, video or not, but, so, a nice, bright, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not really, I mean, it's a blue, but I think you might, it's either a, a royal blue or, or a navy blue, I'm not, you know, it's kind of a, kind of like, like, a, like a deeper blue. Uh, but if you know what kind of blue it is, you know, let me know down in the comment section down below. But it's a good quality, you know, item, obviously. And, uh, then, uh, I had, uh, the last item here, uh, is, uh, shoes. Now, I'm not, I am far and away not any kind of an expert in, uh, shoes. Uh, you know, I'm... You know, so I was kind of like taking the flyer, just start, you know, experiment, you know. Uh, and these were uh, uh, cheap enough to to experiment with, you know. Uh, and, and, of course, all of the items I bought were out of uh, uh, profits from selling on eBay. So, it's, you know, reinvesting the profits. So, I didn't, have, you know, borrow money to, you know, buy any of this stuff, which I don't, you know, you know, I don't recommend that unless you know what you're buying, you can resell, you know. In other words, you have already, uh, have a history of, you know, uh, past your history of buying stuff and then being able to resell it, especially if you can get, uh, like, uh, uh, what they call replenishables or renewables. Uh, these are, uh, some, uh, Nike cleats and then, uh, uh, right there, like that. Okay. Oops, right there. Uh, vapor cleats. Uh, and they're I guess they're a uh, a, a basketball ones, and they got the fly wire here. Oops, and right there, like And they're and obviously they're any new with tags and that. You know, I mean, are they're, uh, they're new without box? You know, and then you got the Nike uh, that basketball cleats. You got that up there like uh, that. You know, and uh, and you get the the bottoms and that, and uh, it's got a Luna. I don't know what that is, a Luna or whatever. On there we go. That's on the bottom. And also, what I noticed is that on on the metal. Oh, and it's got the you know, the swoosh on, on the bottom of it, as well as on the sides. But also on the the metal cleats itself. Um, oh, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. It might be a too much, too close. But anyway, it has little the little Nike uh, logo on the on the metal cleats itself. I thought that was pretty cool. But like I said, I, you know, I don't really into the you know uh, uh, shoe shoe game. So, you know, I mean, that's probably just not much of a, you know, to put somebody who's been into it for a, uh, for a long time. And I, but I just thought it was cool as for, uh, you know, novelists and that, you know. Uh, and these, I, I, I have to do a little bit more research on um, as for what to sell them for. Um, and, and obviously, just uh, check the, the solds on eBay and that. Uh, I think they were... If I, I mean, I did a little research when I first bought them, and I, I think they were selling for forty something dollars, forty five dollars, and I always charge shipping, uh, on, especially on shoes because shoes have to go priority mail, and I uh, ship shoes, 
in uh, uh, the priority mail shoebox. Uh, and these, these I, you can get from free from you know the UPS, uh, but you have to go on the website to order them. Uh, a lot of the post office so don't have them available at the post office. I had to order these uh, through the website along with uh, the padded flat rates that I use. Uh, but you know, I, like I said, they're free, and that you know, and they and you come in and I just, I just tape them up, and they work really good. And especially you know, on the with uh, eBay's uh, uh, shipping uh, uh, discount, you know, you just type in the, you know, the, the the size that's printed right on the box, and 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 you weigh it. I got obviously got a scale and everything, and it's good to go. Uh, that was uh, the the haul. It wasn't, you know, like I said, wasn't very much. Uh, I was, you know, just trying to test things out, you know, test the water, so to speak, see how well. You know, uh, buying new with tag items work out and that. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think of some of the items. Think of if I if I'm pricing them too high, uh, if the you know the, the brand or the the type of uh, product you know the guy you know think oh that's not gonna sell. You know, I mean I like I said I'm you know, trying trying to you know learn different different uh, uh, areas now you know from shoes to uh, you know, to different uh, uh, brands of T-shirts or or, or uh, jerseys, and that. You know, I mostly have been focused on on just men's T-shirts before. So the you know the, the jerseys was was a kind of an experiment to step out, and uh, the the hoodies, and that. Uh, definitely the shoes. I mean, I had bought some uh, some uh, you know just, uh, clearance shoes on on Walmart that I've I've, I've sold. Online, but not the uh, you know the higher end, uh, you know Nikes and so on and that you know. But uh, uh, if you have any suggestions of what you know good shoes to look out for, you know uh, put them down in the comment section down below. And I'll, uh, you know, I mean I, I'm definitely you know uh, looking to learn and to uh, experiment and so on. And hopefully uh, I'll have uh, other uh, uh, Ross Fine uh, videos in the future. Uh, for other stuff that I bought, and uh, I can, uh, you know, learn as I go, and uh, uh, be able to, you know, you know, buy stuff that you know that is selling, that's in demand, and and leave on the shelf what you know what isn't worth buying in it. So uh, uh, thank you very much, and let me know how you like this video, and have a great day.